Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Minallah ve melaket o yusallun alem nebi. Ya eyvellezine amel yusallu aleyhi ve sellim o teslima. Allahümme salli ala seyyidina. Salatu ve selamu ala Resulina Muhammedin ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecmain. Nehmadullah Ta'ala. Nasafir aşeru an la ilaha illallah vahdehu la şerika lah. Aşeru anna seyyidina Muhammedin abduhu ve habibuhu ve resuluh. Sallallahu aleyhi ve ala alihi ve azvacihi. Ve sahabi tabi khulafe rahşidin ve hadim bin ba'di. Ve zelamati ala tahkik. Azim min fa'nikti khulafe rasul ala tahkik. Umar al-Mu'minin Hazreti Ebu Bakr ve Usman ve Ali. Ve ala bakir sahabi tabi'in. Ridvanullah Ta'ala aleyhi ve ecmain. يا أيها المؤمن الحاضرون اتق الله تعالى وتئن الله هم الذين تقوا الذين هم محسنون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم the command of Allah will come to to pass so do not seek to hasten it glory to him and exalted is he above all that they associate with him. He sends down the angels with the spirit of his command to such of his servants as he pleases, saying, Warn man that there is no ilah except me, so keep your duty unto me. He has created the heavens and the earth with truth. High is he above that which they associate with him. He has created man from a drop of dirty water, but look, this same man becomes an open enemy. And the cattle he created, from them you derive warmth and benefits, and from them you eat. And you have a sense of pride and beauty in them as you drive them home in the evening, and as you lead them forth to pasture in the morning. And they carry your heavy loads to land that you could not otherwise reach except with great trouble to yourselves. Indeed. Your Lord is full of pity, merciful. And he has created horses, mules, and donkeys for you to ride and use for show. And he has created other things of which you have no knowledge. And unto Allah leads straight the way. But there are ways that turn aside. If Allah wanted, he could have guided all of you. Sadaqallah Allah and may all peace and blessings be upon the master of the first and the last, Sayyidina Muhammad wasalam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ordering in the Holy Quran saying, Allah and his angels, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Allah and his angels send blessings on the Prophet, O you who believe, you also bless him and pray on him, peace. Ya Allah, bless our master Muhammad whose light was created first and whose appearance is a mercy for the universes as many times as the number of your creations, past and yet to come, of those that are blessed and those that are unfortunate. Such a blessing that submerges all counting is unlimited and unbounded, a blessing that is endless, never finishing, a blessing that is permanent with your eternalness and blessings on his family and companions and salutations. May peace and blessings be upon his noble family and blessed companions, especially upon the four Khulafa Rashidin, 
Hazreti Abu Bakr Siddiq, Hazreti Umar al-Faruq, Hazreti Usman al-Ghani, and Hazreti Ali al-Muqtaza, and all those who follow them until the last day. O oh, believers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us for a purpose. And we must return to Him, having fulfilled that purpose. He subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about those who will be unfortunate in the Ahirat, saying, those whose scales are light in weight are those who lost their souls, living in hell forever. The fire will burn their faces and they will be grinning, but with their lips displaced. It will be said to them, weren't my revelations recited unto you, but then you used to deny them. They will say, oh, our Lord. Our misfortune overwhelmed us, and we became a people astray. Our Lord, oh, bring us out from here. If we return to evil, then indeed we shall be from the Zalims. He will say, be gone from here. Be gone therein, and speak not unto me. Indeed. There was a party of my servants who said, Our Lord, we have believed, so forgive us and have mercy upon us, and you are the best of the merciful. But you chose them for a laughing stock, so much that your ridicule of them made you forget my message while you were laughing at them. I have rewarded them this day for their patience and steadfastness. They are the triumphant ones. He will ask them, what number of years did you stay on earth? They will say, we stayed a day or a part of a day, but as those who keep count, he will say, you stayed only but a little. If only you had known. Did you think that we had created you for nothing and you would not be returned unto us? No, Allah, the exalted, the true king. There is no Allah except him, the Lord of the throne of honor. Sadaqallah al This is a scene of the hereafter that is being put before us. By Allah Jalla wa ala. This is a warning. This is a warning for us not to be from those people who laugh at guidance, who waste their time, who think that this life is play and games. The warning is meant to bring us back to the Siratul Mustaqim. What is the ayat saying? What is the essential part of the ayat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to those people be gone from me and don't speak to me he is saying be separated from me that is the punishment they are in Sahib al-Saif Shaykh Abdul Karim al-Kibrisi al-Rabbani Qadaz al-Asar is speaking about the seriousness of this saying Either you take Allah and His Prophet وسلم, seriously, or there is a big question mark. Ask, are we going to save our faith in the last breath or not? Who are we? The Sahaba Kiram who gave so many things in the way of Allah and His Prophet, some of them made one wrong mistake and they lost everything. Do you think that you are going to reach to the level of the Sahabi, any one of you, any one of us? What do you think? Do you think that because the other guy next door is not praying and you are praying, you reach somewhere? Reaching somewhere is taking Allah's orders seriously. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ordering to us, take me seriously. If we don't, then we will cry a lot in dunya and ahirat. You lose everything in dunya. Those who are beloved to Allah and His Prophet والسلام, they don't love you then. You can do whatever you want, but they don't love you then. That love only comes when you are obedient to Allah and His Prophet. If you are not, then you are separating yourself from them. Narul Hasarat is going to burn those who are not taking Allah's order seriously. He is not taking them to His presence saying, Didn't I deserve to be worshipped? I gave you everything and you ran away for your ego? Didn't I send you a message saying your ego is your enemy and shaitan is your enemy and you became ally with shaitan against me that I've created you and given you everything? Go. Evliya Allah is saying such a, person, such a person wishes, saying I hope that the Lord of the heavens 
puts me through every hell to burn forever, not to speak to me like that. That time he wakes up, but it is too late. It's too late. Narul Hasarat starts burning from the inside then. The loneliness of separation, feeling the separation from his Lord, that fire starts from the inside and starts burning inside. And that time, the outside hell is nothing. In this life, this life is where we build our connection. And this life is where we will write our books. Either that we're going to be together with the beloveds of Allah or we're going to be separated from them. Our Islam, our Iman, our Ihsan, all of it must be leading us to this, to keep our servanthood to our Lord, to keep our connection to Him, to those whom He has sent to us and to make them pleased with us. If our worshipping or our knowledge or our service makes us to become proud and arrogant, that worshipping will become a reason for us to be separated. We are servants. Our duty is to find our master and to make our master to be pleased with us. Our duty is to earn the love of those that are beloved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who will then train us how to become beloved to the Prophet and to become beloved to Allah. Sultan al-Awliya Shaykh Maulana Muhammad Nazim al Khani is saying, Islam came with love and sympathy. The ones who love, they are loved. The ones who don't love become unbelievers. These words are the essentials of life which give people real life and make the physical being alive, making the spiritual being reach to the heavens. Quran al-Azim, al-Shan, says, love and be loved. The Holy Torah says, love and be loved. The Holy Gospel says, love and be loved. What does shaitan say? No, he says, don't let people to love each other. Don't let people love anybody. This is the teaching of shaitan. All prophets are saying to love and to be loved. You must first love your creator, Janab al -Haq. Then Rasul al Kibriya alayhi salatu wasalam, love the prophets and love the Sultan of Prophets, our master alayhi salatu wasalam. Love him, don't be arrogant. Allah and his angels love the Holy Prophet. All of the prophets are in love with the Holy Prophet. The Sahabi Kiram are sacrificed for him. The Awliya Allah are drowned in him. The Buraks that gaze, that graze in paradise are in love with Rasulullah The sun and the moon and the seas and the mountains are in love with him. The palm trunk that he used to lean on when he gave sohbat cried in pain when he was separated from him. The trees uprooted themselves to walk to him and give salams to him. The natural state of all of creation is to love him and be in amazement of him. The one who doesn't love him, yes, that one is a master of ignorance. In Abu Jahil. To love his inheritors, to love the awliya, it is also our natural state. Their companionship is what raises us to the level of Bani Adam, to be servant. As Shaykh Mawlana is saying, the sohbet of the holy ones is to bring the attenders to perfection, Kemal, everyone to his station. We are going to be with the ones that we love. As in the hadith of the Bedouin man who came and asked Rasulullah when is the day of judgment? And Holy Prophet asked him, what have you prepared for it? The Bedouin replied, only the love of Allah and his messenger. And the Holy Prophet says, you will be with those whom you love. Tariqat is to teach us that. This way is to teach us to enter into it. Not the Western kind of love, not modern love, not the love that makes you to feel good. Tariqat teaches you the love of the Sahabi Kiram. The Siddiqi way teaches you the love of Siddiqul Akbar. A love that makes you say, I live for you and I die for you. Everything I have is sacrificed for you. May I be kurban for one smile from you. That is the way of Sahib al-Saif. That is the way that will put you in the sohbet of love in the next life. O believers, we are entering to the holy months. This is a time to test 
if we are being real or if we are being hypocrites. Cyber Save is reminding us year after year, saying week after week, year after year, I am saying, Shem Olana is saying, and we are going to say, the holy days and the holy nights are approaching. In these nights, take it seriously. Take it seriously. It's only five nights a year, not ten. There are 365 days in a year, and there are only five nights that are very holy. You cannot keep up with that. What kind of faith you have? Where is your faith? Are you going to give me excuses? Give me one million excuses, but it's not good for anything. No excuses can pass for that for a believer. If a believer says, I have an excuse in 365 days, I cannot save five days for Allah and His Prophet then I have doubt about your faith. We are not playing here. We are not here for a picnic. We are not here to have only good times and tea parties. We are here to worship, and those who doesn't want to worship, they have no place with me. They have a very short time. May our intention be pure. May our service be clean. May we enter into these holy months in a way that is pleasing to Allah, to His Prophet, and to our Shaykh. May we respect and honor these days and nights as a Jamaat, and may our Jamaat be accepted and pleasing to our Lord. Amin. Astaghfirullah. 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 Lazim al La ilaha illallah. لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له لا إله إلا أنت اسمه لا إله إلا أنت اسمه لا إله إلا أنت اسمه صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله عليه وسلم إن دين عند الله الإسلام قام صلى الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر شو لا إله إلا الله شو لا إله إلا الله اشهد ان محمد رسول الله اشهد ان محمد رسول الله يا السلام 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 يا